All right, we're here for round two of the Storybook Brawl Tournament, day one. And wow, this is a good uh, selection of heroes. Horde Dragon, Potion Master, I think are the two I'm looking at. I don't actually know which one's better. I know a lot of people love Horde Dragon. It has an insane late game. I love Potion Ma I'm, I love Potion Master. The spells you cast, like having two options, can let you just like escalate in the late game. If you get Crystal Ball, you just go off. The thing is, it is easier to get Hat Ball with Horde Dragon. It was insane in the previous tournament. And there's no Pumpkin King to just demolish you at level 5. I've just had some really goofy comps with Potion Master. Potion Master seems more fun. Again, the objective here is to have fun. That's what we're doing. Oh man, this is going to be... <laughs> okay. Give me a good next turn. Let's lock this in. The unfortunate part about this is with Potion Master, you really want to cast like a targeted spell on turns 1 and 2. But I'm going to complain too much. We, uh... We get to buy three units. We get a chicken in there, too. <laughs> we both had no targeted things. Okay. Um, ooh. This is interesting. We can... I want to cast the targeted spell on probably Happy Little Tree. So what if I do something like this? Cast the spell and keep the chicken in here? I think I like doing that. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go for it, and let's buy the chicken. And then I'm going to have four gold next turn. I don't really want to lock the free roll in the shop, but I think I'm going to, because I also like Lonely Prince, and if I find another targeted spell that costs one, I'm going to be pretty happy that I have a one-cost unit to buy, in addition to my spell. Okay, we have a 3-3 three, three and a 2-2 two, two versus a 3-3 three, three and a 2-2. Two, two. We did negate their magic research, though. That's good to know about. Ooh, I love Wizards Familiar. So we can go Wizards Familiar, Lonely Prince, and For Glory. We're playing against Wonder Waddle, so it's kind of scary. Like, whether or not we're going to win this fight. And the Prince is pretty bad, but I guess we can trade the Chicken for a 2-3. And yeah, I think this is worth it. We buy the Prince, we trade our Chicken... Although we could save the chicken and get really greedy. I'm just so unlikely to win now if I do that. But by saving the chicken, we set ourselves up for a, uh, a really good level 3 turn. I think I'm going to do that. I don't know. We'll see. If the 2-3 on the chicken would have mattered, that's fine. Attack here. Oh. Oh my gosh, we win. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, man. That was terrible positioning by me, and it still worked out. So I get a level 3 hero for free. It is a Darkwood Creeper, which is excellent with my happy little tree. Wow, this is going really well. Um, we can buy... Good Witch of the North? Um, I think I'm actually going to shrink spell it. Then we can buy Good Witch of the North. And then this is going to flip Lonely Prince. I'm going to... Sell the golden chicken for a sleeping princess. So that flips that. And I'm going to do something like this. I guess I want uh, these dudes like here. And I guess I buy the kitty cut purse. So I guess I have to move them back. Uh, we can run it like this. Pretty good squad. Do I want to lock for a two cost princess peep is the better question. I mean right now this is a really good team to start with. This is why I love trophy uh, potion master because... You just get two choices at spells. So, like, even if you're never activating the ability where you cast spells on tar characters and buff them up, you could just cast spells every turn. Oof. Ugh, them having, like, big units is particularly brutal against my team. But we should still win. Uh, no, actually. Wow, they hit that! Oh my gosh. Alright. That's brutal. We needed that turn to get a lot of buffs. And we did not get any. But we can start growing our tree still. So I like that. Um, prized pig. I think I'm strong enough to go for a prized pig here. I really want to cast a spell on Sleeping Princess. I think that was actually a mistake to cast the other spell that I did. But it worked out because I get to do this now. <laughs> and I'm going to lock for this team. Uh, yeah, this feels like a good build. Um, we get to have chances at tripling Happy Little Tree and Wizards Familiar, which I'm okay with. And, I mean, 
This is, we have a 13, 13, and 8, 13. I guess I want this attacking first. And this seems good to me. Yeah, tripling this tree with Darkwood Creeper is going to be awesome. It's possible I'm supposed to just sell to get like the extra two health on the tree. They have a Tweedledee? What is this? That is a, a really good hit off the uh, True Love's Kiss there. All right, pig's definitely dying. Oh, no. No, the pig is dying. <laughs> oh, man, we were so close. Okay, you know what? That's a very ahead share bear. But we get to go happy little tree, wizard's familiar, buff up the tree. So I'm pretty content with my position. There's another Darkwood Creeper. I'm going to sell Kitty Cut Purse for the Creeper. And I think I'm going to run both. I also kind of want to lock for these two spells because they're both great. Uh, it's kind of greedy to have double Darkwood Creeper here, but... Getting attack on the tree is pretty important. So I guess we're just going to be greedy for this turn, <laughs> he says. Famous last words. I, it's just like the rest of my team's not that good either. So hopefully they have like... They're playing as Loki. So they could cast Earthquake. They could cast the thing that does one damage to everything. Um, I guess I could play around Fireball hitting both of my Darkwood Creepers. But I guess I'm still likely to win that fight. So yeah, they can cast Fireball. That's fine. And there's only one... If it Fireball goes here and kills those, it's going to be kind of annoying. But even that's not the end of the world. Do I want to cast True Love's Kiss is the question. Because I really kind of want to triple my level 3s. Well, that's... What the heck? <laughs> that's not even fair. How is Loki so far ahead? I thought I was doing well. Alright. He... Oh, he must have cast the... You get like plus 2 level spell or whatever. That's pretty good. Alright, let's go Potion of Healing on this. Do I True Love's Kiss anything? I think the answer is no, not yet. Here we have Lightning Bolt. Um, I can Luna's Grace to give a temporary and permanent buff to something. I think I'm going to roll. It would be really nice if I could hit like a triple of one of my level threes. Okay. Shard of the Ice Queen. Um, I think I'm going to transform this. Okay, that was pretty bad. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I did that. Then we're going to roll. Still no triples. That's unfortunate. Um, this is a 1-3. This is a 9-8. This is a 4-4. Four, four. I guess technically this is better than running the Black Cat. I'm going to roll. Still no triples. Uh, I do like Soltak Ancient in this meta though, so I think I'm going to sell this in the pig. Just pick up the Soltak Ancient, put it here so it has attack. And it can guard my two best units. Yeah, I think I like this actually. Because um, it's going to grow with the Darkwood Creepers. We saw someone else had a Lightning Dragon. They're very common in the meta, so growing one of those would be really helpful. Well, we killed their Slay unit, I guess. And they have a Princess Peep who is likely to give us a lot of attack boosts. And then we die. <laughs> okay, we need to figure out what to do with these Darkwood Creepers. They are not going so hot. That is two Tweedledees. I don't pass that up. And then... Okay, so we can uh, make this swap, I suppose. Tweedledee, Tweedledee. Do I grow them? Yes. Of course I do. 10, 5, 6, 1. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Uh, I would prefer if Good Witch of the North did not attack first. So maybe I have Tweedledee go first. And then I have this as my back row. This team's a lot stronger now. And the beauty of Potion Master is I can start casting more spells on Tweedledee and like he's going to get huge. So I'm happy with that. I just, if I could find any triple, I have like only pairs right now and it's kind of frustrating. My team was good for a while 
and it is not that good anymore. <laughs> like, tripling this, I don't have to run both of them in the back line would help. But I think we're close. We just need to triple a unit somewhere along the line. And also, uh, this character is pretty weak. I almost wonder if I'm supposed to run Darkwood Creeper instead. I'm going to do it. Okay, that goes there. Does not do one damage to everything. But we... Oh, we don't even kill their moose. Whatever this thing is. Attack here. Okay, you know what? That's fine. We have 14, 10. Oh, it's only one attack! No! Oh my gosh. That is very unfortunate. Okay, here's the triples we were looking for. Let's do this first. Oh, Reduplicator. Excellent. That's so good. Triple the Darkwood Creeper. Crystal Ball? Y yeah? I guess. Okay. Now we're in business. Um, I'm gonna give this Toughness. Because we have Reduplicator. I want to buy the Sleeping Princess with this team. But at the same time, I can't really... I have Crystal Ball. We're so close. Um, I don't want this dying first. I can do this. That way it's protected by Soul Talk. I can True Love's Kiss something, but I think my team's alright. Oh, okay. I like this. <laughs> yes, grow my team. And I think this will still grow even with the Soul Talk Ancient protecting it. So I think that's okay. Um, I kind of want to like Merlin's test the Tweedledee next, like next turn. Because that's just like an insane amount of stats. At level 4, I'm about to hit level 5. I don't know, maybe locking for that didn't make sense. Yes, it did gain attack from that. That's excellent. Okay, that goes there. That goes there. Ooh, there's all so many stat bonuses. We get two Tweedledees. Okay. Took someone out of the game. We're coming back. Upgraded Tweedledee. <laughs> we just needed to wait until we could hit our triples. This was a very greedy thing to do, by the way, but I'm content with it. I'll gain health. Grow my wizard dudes. Um, do I want to eat a character? I guess I might as well just buy and eat Polywoggle because it's cost neutral. But it grows my team by one. So now I can True Love's Kiss something. I still don't know if I want to. I'm scared of this Muerte though. Grow the tree. I think I'm going to roll past this. Giving two attack to my whole team is decent. But not amazing. So many True Love's Kiss. So many Shoulder Fairies with no attack. Hmm. Nothing great here. I really don't think I can afford to run this Darkwood Creeper right now. Well, actually it's better than this support, I think. So I guess I can do this, then I can sell the support and buy a spell. Just to grow my team a little bit more. Yeah, this actually seems pretty good, and given that, I guess I want this attacking first. Putting our best foot forward here. The Reduplicator Tweedledee is really our game plan, so we really want to make sure that survives and does stuff. Uh, that's a scary team. This has 12 attack? Jeez. And I attack that one. Yeah, not great. But that one suicides. Yeah, we're fine here. I think. I never know. I think they might have a Juliet. They don't have a Juliet? Okay, that's great. Okay, good, good. <laughs> we beat first place. Always a good sign. Nothing here. Okay, tripling Wizards Familiar is excellent. And we get an Aeon as well. Ring- oh, <laughs> okay. I'll do that, sure, sure. 
Uh, do I want Aeon? His slay ability can let us do hatball stuff. So, I think so. Give up Aeon and give him attack. And I guess I'll just do this. And then a wheel. Because if Aeon attacks and slays, that's like huge news. And we have the Darkwood Creeper here. I mean, my team's really big now. Okay, I'm at 15 life. We're holding on, but we're, we're doing the thing. And I like just playing to have fun. This is going way better. Uh, I think I'm attacking in order of stuff. Because I want this attacking first. And I want to protect the Tweedledee because the reduplicator is pretty important. So I think we're going to keep that. So hopefully we can beat a Loki, and hopefully they uh, do one damage to everything. Like if we get double ring of meteors here, please don't be too strong. Well, okay, we get to protect from the lightning dragon though. <laughs> so that's pretty good, I guess. <laughs> Take that lightning dragon. Oh, and this is why I took Sultak Ancient so highly. Then this attacks, it doesn't even die? Well, this is kind of problematic because their Hercules is going to proc. So, that's not amazing. But we do get a lot of spells. We get an Aeon. Oh, buddy. Alright, let's go Aeon. Start granting attack. I think I just need to continue growing this Aeon for now. And this is going to be a big shoulder fairies. Better than a Woken Princess, so I'm going to take that. And I'm going to buy the chicken for now. Um, I could buy Falling Stars, but I have Hatball going on, so let's not do that. Go ahead and grow this tree. Toughness to the tree. Oh, actually, I want to grow the Tweedledee with these ones, like the generic spells. Sell the chicken. Give this toughness. Grab the coin. Oh, yeah, this is going really well. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm going to sell her... Cast Merlin's Test on Tweedledee. And I would like to cast... Am I giving up on the Darkwood Creeper? No, I think I'm just going to lock. And we're going to get maximally greedy here and run... Double Aeon. Something like this. Because I want this getting attacked as well. But I want both Aeons to attack and slay so my spells are cheaper. Yeah, something like this feels good. Uh-oh. No, we didn't do the thing. Ugh. Is this a ghost? I feel like this is the one I beat. Alright, this guy's getting attack. This guy's getting attack. Aeon slays? Excellent. Double Aeon greed pays off. It goes there. Okay, we beat the ghost. We're doing really well. So we give attack to Tweedledee. Um, do I want to cast the end to gain some life? I'm at 15. I think the answer is no. No fireballs. Jormagand is interesting, but I think we're okay. Uh, Aeon's also interesting, but I think we're okay. I'd really like to triple this tree. Did I not run the tree last fight? I guess I did not. <laughs> Okay, we get to grow you. Do we have a monster? No. Ooh, mix a whistle. Let's do that here. The really big princess peep. No monsters? Nothing. Okay. Keep rolling. Uh, evil twin. No, that's a very expensive way to triple a thing. Uh, we'll gigantify this guy. And do I just shrivel? No. We could do better though. There's a tree. Uh, do this. Earthquake. Lock for the tree. Uh, 2937 is better than this. Okay. Uh, something like that makes sense. And we get the slay with Aeon. Monster Book does a thing. They don't even get a slay there. Excellent. Don't you dare hit. Ah, well, actually, that's better than hitting Tweedledee. Which is just never going to be killed. <laughs> that guy's so big. 
No, I wanted another Aeon Slay. Okay, that's fine. I mean, we're kind of crushing it. I'm scared of this big bad wolf we're about to face, but we get to triple our tree. And I can skip for gold, and now we just need to go off with spells. We can work with that. Um, Soltak Ancient goes here. I still like the Ancient. I think we're kind of off the Darkwood Creeper. Nothing. Triple Aeon, I like. Level 5 treasure is pretty good. Uh, ooh, Ambrosia with the fairies. Aeon's a good... Oh, that's bad, actually. <laughs> I did not realize Aeon was a good... Okay. Um, yeah, I'm still going to go with Ambrosia over Ring of Meteors. But I did not realize I made Aeon good. Okay. Um, what do we do? We have a character plus 10 attack. I guess it's going to be this dude. I want him in the back row still. I messed up the shoulder fairies. That's on me. Uh, I guess I'm just going to sh use this combat spell here in Shrivel. So we're attacking with Aeon first. Tweedledee's protected, as is the rest of the thing. This is this happy little tree is actually pretty weak right now. Yeah, turning this good really messed me up. But we'll see how strong they are. Ooh, well. That isn't the worst thing that's ever happened. Tweedledee gets to kill that. That doesn't even slay. That's good. That slays, but I actually get to beat this still, I think. Okay. <laughs> that's really scary, though. I need a really, really big front line to face them next time. Okay. Um, growing this. Growing this. Growing this. Growing this. Making this good, I guess. Shoulder Fairies is really awkward right now, but we can replace it with the Storm King now. Upgraded Storm King is huge. Nothing for us here. I mean, Doom Breath is cute and all. Uh, do I want Knighthood? Not really. I do like Gigantify. So I think I'm going to sell... Shoulder Fairies is 60 health. I'm going to sell it. We're going to Gigantify just this Tweedledee. It's so good. And then... Oh, okay. <laughs> Pretty happy with that. Um, I, Honestly? Yeah, I, I think I'm just... Well, I can move these back. Actually, this is a better build because now I have my strongest attacking units going first. And we're set up to get first place again, hopefully. We'll see how strong the... Wonder Waddle is. They still have 20 health, which is also scary. But this 70, 70, 71 Tweedledee is, uh, with Reduplicator is something to be scared of, for sure. And we're guaranteed to slay with Aeon, so we can do Hatball stuff. And they're doing damage to everything, too, which is amazing. <laughs> it's just so much free attack. Okay. In the deuce of that. Oof. Getting to grow Tweedledee with more attack is just huge. Wonder Waddle beat... Oh, okay, that's a little scary. <laughs> I don't like that. Alright, let's... Roll. Alright, give attack to this guy. Health goes... Or whatever. We'll just generally buff this one. Uh... Yeah, I'll turn this into something else. The queen, sure, I guess. Okay, Merlin's test. We're just gonna keep growing that, dude. Oh my gosh. Rock bait. So, oh. Uh, with reduplicator? Rock bait on this means I summon two Tweedledees. That's gotta be better, right? That seems insane. Although I can't grow his stats. I can't continue growing his stats. I think I'm going to keep him as he is. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. But it's what I'm doing. Gain some health. Uh, buy level 3 and devour it. No monsters. Okay. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Grow this. And this. And this. And then we Pigamorph. 
And we have this with Ambrosia. We have Queen of Hearts, which is just like awkward, but it's fine. This guy attacking first. Don't know what to be scared of, but we're about to find out. All right, Wonder Waddle, what do you got? Hey, well, I killed the mummy, and we have this beautiful Soul Tech Ancient protecting my whole squad. <laughs> Just one Soul Tech Ancient takes it down. I love it. <laughs> okay, that's scary, but I think this uh, Tweedledee is going to do some work. I was hoping we were going to get another Slain with our Aeon, but... That's a lot of damage to the Wonder Waddle. We get to then fight that thing. Okay, give attack here. Bonus is here. Uh, I don't want to pick a morph just yet. I'm going to turn the queen into something else. That's excellent. I want to keep that as it is, actually. Uh, give attack here. At this point, I guess I can transform this tree. Sure, it's a really big cat. <laughs> All right, attack here. Nothing else. Toughness here. I really could croc bait it, but I think we're okay. Don't have any prince or princesses. That's okay. Roll again. Getting health is great, and I'm gonna do 30 damage to a random enemy. Uh, yeah, I mean, Soul Tech Action is still pretty good. This uh, <laughs> really, really big black cat, but I will. I'm fine with that, I guess. This also got 45 attack in one turn sequence, which is pretty nice. And this is, uh, this is a big Tweedledee. That's, that's nothing to joke about. Um, hopefully we can play around a Medusa eating the Tweedledee and things like that. But we're at 18 health, so we're not super likely to die in one shot. And I think, unless people get lucky, we're gonna like keep going, like just crushing them, hopefully. Okay, we killed- oh, that's excellent. Killing that was good. The problem is we don't get to go off with hatball stuff next turn because our- Oh. That's awkward. Okay, that's dead though, so we win this fight. But the, <laughs> the reduplicator on the cat is definitely something to consider. <laughs> okay, I need to worry about that. Alright, let's grow this. So now, I don't just have unlimited free spells. And I'm worried about this cat. I think I'm better off just not running the cat. Or doing something like this. The Soltag Ancient demolished this opponent last time. I think I'm going to pick him up again. And then just roll to find... Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna do this. Sell this really big cat for just another soul tech ancient. And then th uh protect the spell weaver, I guess. I'm okay with this. Now my whole back row is safe from whatever shenanigans they have. <laughs> they can't they can't do anything about it. Oh, it's great. Um okay, and gets a slay. Do I lock for witch's brew? I don't think so. I think I can do better. Yeah, I, I mean, this is just, this is like dwarf level Tweedledee, but I get to run it in a spells build. And Soltak Ancient is just the best anti-meta card right now. Yeah, look at this. Their dragon is funny. It's adorable, actually. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Sorry, I meant to do that. No, oh, they killed the thing. Oh, okay. You know what? We're still not out of the woods yet. The pump king is a little bit scary. Because, like, we're... It's very possible for us to get scammed here. And they get max pump king slots that are upgraded. No Medusa. Okay. Okay, that's another first place, I believe. Two upgraded units. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I will take that. Pretty good start to a tournament. Playing to have fun worked out. I didn't want to play Horde Dragon. I wanted to play Potion Master. I went for it, and I won with the vanilla Soltech Ancient on my comp. See you guys next round.